So I ain't have to speed Draw diamonds on my team Draw diamonds on lean I took out just like a rocket I lost you on the high king Either way it goes We buying out the stores We ain't up to run a lot of lean Right for bitch on board Racks must not a nigga team Might as well go on blood Smoke the line for like nigga team all right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is your boy B Bullet RC coming at you guys today with yet another video. And uh, right now, I'm actually at the beach. Today's plan, though, is we definitely need to hit the PO box because I got a package in from a, uh, a supporter, man, subscriber. Shouts out to my dude Oscar out there in NY. And also, y'all know, first comments. Go ahead, notification game, notification squad. I'm gonna throw y'all up right here in the video. Now the reason it looks so crazy and blasts up because I'm actually at the beach. I'm in the shade because listen, bro, I, I don't need a tan. Yeah, you already know. Tan life is not the life for me. But anyways, man, like I was trying to say, our mission today is a peel box. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time. I'm definitely gonna try and make it there before five. I really hope I can make it there before five. But since I'm out at the beach, um, you guys know the new uh, basketball capsule collection is coming out from Sample Industries, so I brought like the hats, the jerseys, all the shorts. If you guys haven't seen that yet, you already know what it is, at S-M-P-L-I-N-D. That's where you post all the information first. And uh, plus I got some new samples in for some more. Bro, sample man. is garbage, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then plus I got some samples on right now of some uh, Terry shirts we're gonna be dropping uh, later on, but y'all see that later. Anyways, I need to get some drone shots, and then after those, Hopefully we'll be on our way to uh, to the post office, cause bro, it's hot out here, man. It's very hot. One eternity later. Okay, YouTube, we are back. Listen, yesterday I intend to have that video up, but we were out at the beach. I got into taking all the photos for a lookbook for the new drop, and honestly, I just ran out of time. And it's only 24 hours in a day. The post office closes at five, and by the time I got done taking all those photos, it was like 4:45. I'm like 30 minutes away from the post office, and I was like, listen, man, it's just. It's just not gonna happen today. And today is Tuesday, and y'all already know I, I really, I really don't fuck with Tuesdays or posting on Tuesdays. But since I didn't post anything yesterday, I gotta make sure I come with the heat today and come with the heat throughout the rest of the week. So y'all already know what time it is. Let's go ahead and hop in the whip. We need to hit the PO box, come back. Like I said, man, I got some hookups, and I'm gonna go through all my stuff from round two. I didn't really get to show you guys that stuff in depth. You just saw it like in the background. So we're gonna go through that as well. So I got heat on the way. Y'all sit back. Let's get it. Oh, and to interrupt your montage real quick, if y'all see this box down here, that's actually delivery two of the sample industry's summer drops, but we can't talk about that right now. I mean, y'all see something already, but just don't don't pay attention to the S. Don't don't look at that. So YouTube, we gotta talk about it a little bit. The finals. I was watching last night. Y'all know I really don't keep up with sports. Usually I'm trying to get into basketball, you know what I'm saying? So I don't have a team yet, you know what I'm saying? So if y'all think I should join your team, comment it down below. Who's team? What what's your team on the NBA? But I was watching last night. And uh, you know how I really feel bad for, bro. I feel bad for my homie Cash, bro. I know he had a little situation happen recently, and then he wasn't even able to see the game. So, yeah. damn, I know it was hard for him to come back to that. So Golden State, four to one, KD for MVP. And um, I know a lot of people have their own opinions about his move and what he did. And people have opinions about the move that LeBron did to Miami. I mean, as KD being from the DMV, I got to be proud for the man. I got to say congrats to him. Um, MVP and getting the ring. That was a really big moment, I'm sure. I mean, I watched his mom comes up there. So I just got to say congrats to Golden State, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yo, I feel like it's just going to be Cavs and Golden State again next year. And like I said, I watched loosely. But right now, I don't see who's beating the Cavs or Golden State. I just... I don't know. I don't see who's going to do that. Anyways, man, sports talk out of here. We are near the post office. You guys can't see it, but it is right over there. So just give me one second. So 
guys, I haven't been able to check the post office since like maybe once since London. So we should have, I think we're gonna have like four to five packs in here. So drop my key, we'll see. So guys, that is it for the post office. It's always a good day when he comes to the post office and he just got packs on packs on packs waiting for you so okay listen my bad for the abrupt cut but bro it's 90 degrees outside and virginia weather is humid bro it's not like phoenix phoenix hot is like dry hot out here bro it's just hot and humid bro you're just gonna be sweating so i had to get inside the car we need the ac the ac is on you hear that the ac is on asap max cooling so first up let's make sure the packs are straight okay we got something from az threads i'm pretty sure i know exactly where this pack is from this one will be for another video some really dope summer pickups in this joint y'all really like when i do the indie brand so this is gonna be another one and then the subscriber oop is right here we got a, a major oop right here even though they restock now but when they first dropped i was hurting for them and uh i couldn't get them i think they're still online now but regardless though shouts out to the homie oscar for even just looking out for me he hit me up on like a random whim like yo they got them did you need them yes yes i do need them so listen let me go ahead and toss all these over here and uh I need some food, so I'm not gonna take y'all with me because I'm probably just gonna run the subway or something. I was thinking about flaming Japan, but I think I'm gonna pass on teriyaki for today. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, y'all, so we are back, and as you can see, we got a good amount of blessings for this video. So let me put this stack back down, and we're gonna go one by one and get into everything we got, and we're gonna save this guy on the bottom for last. First up, we gotta go through the bag, which is everything I got for round two. Now, the first thing you guys seen this on my IG was the Palace Tropical Fish Tea. Shouts out to the dude that actually sold this. He watches my videos and he commented. Um, so thank you for selling this to round two. I got this. This one's a size large. Now, I usually go with an XL. I had to stretch this one out just a little bit, but it still feels great. The actual like cotton on the shirt and the makeup of it is actually really, really soft, and I was really digging um, the print the tropical fish on the back in the shape of the pea and y'all know I like those bright colors so this really crazy bright orange is one of my favorite colors and um, I just missed out on it on the original palace drop so this is one of my first pickups so we got to get into the actual bag right here so let me just go ahead and take out the top tees take out everything anything else in here no we don't need that so first up we got this vintage Budweiser tea and usually when I get some of my vintage teas I like to look them up just to see if there's any like history with it and apparently these were the Budweiser frogs and there was actually a commercial ran and this was back in the 90s and the commercial was actually up on YouTube so I watched it Bud. Bud. Twice. And obviously you guys can see where the inspiration comes from the Budweiser speedboat on the front I just was really fucking with this graphic. It's an all-over olive green tea The Budweiser font is dope the graphic the speedboat looks dope and then on the back you have the frog the official year on this one is 19 96 this bud is for you and that is a bad graphic definitely one of my favorite vintage tees i've ever found and just finding the commercial to go with is really dope because so you see exactly where the inspiration came from that was my first budweiser tee next one number 21 and you guys can see the front graphic crazy designs the colors aren't popping like they should be on the camera but trust me yellows blues reds orange is like this is probably one of the brightest nascar tees i've seen and the condition on this one is like perfect it almost feels brand new there's no cracking at all in design this one is from 2001 and you guys can see the back right here really like the colors on this joint and it's an all over black base so this one's gonna be easy to rock it is a little bit of a heavier tee so i'm gonna probably be wearing these more on those summer nights it, it's very thick a very thick cotton on this one and then we gotta get into the last heater which is the 92 
dream team vintage tee that I found. And this one, I would say condition wise, I would say an eight out of 10, maybe an 8.5 out of 10. Not a lot of cracking at all, but you can definitely tell that this has been washed. The tee has that kind of softer feeling to it, but you guys can see the front graphic USA 92 dream team. And this tee right here, man, when I seen that, I was like, yo, this is probably gonna be my July 4th tee this year. Huge Dream Team graphics on the back taking on the world and you have all of your different players with USA on the top. This one was just solid. I love the colors, I love the fonts. This is an unmistakable tee. This is not a modern tee. This is definitely a 92 vintage tee for sure. And that is my last vintage pickup from round two. If you missed that video, and yo, shout out to everybody that watched that video, like 80K in a day, much, much love and 5,000 thumbs up. Much, much love, thank you. I really appreciate the support on that one. And then the last shoe that I got right here, these were actually my main reason for going up to round two, and that is the Air Morb Tempo, the Red Supreme joints. You guys know that I picked up the gold ones recently when I was in London. So now I only need one more pair to complete the trifecta. We got the red pair, we got the golds on the bottom, and then all I need is the black pair. And shouts out to the homie that was actually gonna um, oop me for a really, really good price on Twitter for the black pair, but I hit him up too late and they already sold, but appreciate you nonetheless. And just to clear something up really quick, yesterday when I did that trade, it wasn't just shoes for shoes and shirts, I did throw some cash on top. No, your boy didn't finesse round two like that. My dude Austin knew what he was talking about, I knew what I was talking about, and we came to a good deal. But those are all the old pickups, let's get into the new stuff. So now it is time to get into that first pack. So y'all know me, I am the no show sock guy. I'm, I'm recently starting to get into the crew socks and everything, but usually in the summer, I do like to let my ankles breathe. So I got an email a few weeks ago and these guys from uh, this brand called Invisa Socks, they were like, yo, we watch your videos, let's send you out some socks. And you know me, I'm not gonna turn down free socks. Who turns down free socks? Now the thing with no show socks that usually happens to me is either that the rim, like right next to the ankle is still showing, or they have that weird like female sock fit. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Like it only covers your toes and your heel. Nothing else is covered. And then when you're with the homies, you gotta take your shoes off and your socks are showing, they're like, yo, did you just steal some socks out of your little sister's drawer? You, you don't wanna do that. Not a good look. Trust me, not a good look. So yeah, at first I was just gonna tell you guys how they work, but I guess the better option is just to show you guys. So don't mind any ashiness or uh, dulled out, washed out socks. So these are some old, <laughs> these are some old Van socks right here that I had, and these are the Invisa socks. So usually when I have like crazy, crazy low tops, they come to like right here, bro, and it gives you that like little sister sock vibe. So just to show you all the quick difference, I brought like one of my lowest low top shoes that I have, and those are the uh, Puma and Kuji collabs. These joints come super, super, super low on your ankle. So let's just see how they work in comparison from a regular Vans no show sock. And no, not the super low cut joints, but just some ankle kind of socks versus the Invisa sock, guys. Let's see how it works. So first I was like, yo, let's just go ahead and hit the left shoe with the Vans sock. And this is the problem. This is all great. I don't like this. I never like when my no shows show like above the rim. So if we jump into uh, 2034 and switch out the shoe, this is what the uh, no show sock of the future should look like. Wow, look at that. Is that. Isn't that so crazy? Ankles right here are fully out. Veins in my ankles are fully out and the slight bit of ash down here is fully out as well. But what we do not see is none of this. Boom, we hit them like that. No more socks, bruh. So yo, shout out to the homies at Invisa Socks. Thank you guys, appreciate y'all keeping my ankles nice and breezy this summer. But that's enough sock talk. We got another package right here from the homies from Phoenix, Arizona, AZ Threads. If you guys watched one of my old pickup videos, that's probably one of my favorite like videos, bro. I went through Arizona, yo, Arizona, Phoenix, Phoenix got some spots, bro. Phoenix has some spots. Just like some teas from the shop, this first one is of course, guest inspired. AZ Thread, you guys know exactly where that logo is from. AZ Thread, guest inspired. All white, red, and black, so y'all appreciate the first tee. Next up, we have the Death Row Records-like tee, and I actually got one of these already, so this is just gonna be another cozy, all-black tee for me to lounge around in, so I appreciate it from you guys. And then this last one has Martin Luther King Jr. on the front, and then on the back it just says, who killed MLK. So those were the three T's that I got from the dudes over at AZ Threads. 
thank you. And um, there might be some uh, more info. Uh, me and AZ Threads doing some things in the future, but you'll see. Okay, so next up, I will say it once. I will say it twice. I'll probably say it again after this video, but yo, shouts out to the homie Oscar out in NY. If you guys were watching my video before I headed out to Chicago, y'all know I was looking for a specific shoe, and at the time, I believe it sold out, and then more sites got them after the fact. I wasn't in town, so I couldn't get them, so yo, shout out to my man Oscar, bro. Shouts out for ooping me these and looking out for your boy. Y'all already see it. Let me go ahead and flip this open. Flip this open right here. Foot Locker house of hoops box and it seems like there's a hat in here too i don't know what the hat is wow my dude just threw <laughs> yo he just threw in a free supreme hat for me so he didn't even tell me he was going to gift me this he just threw it in the box so uh, thank you man you, you'll see me wear this i will wear this so i knew this was coming but this was like a whole surprise in itself so i appreciate you bro thank you you will see me wear this you will see me wear the supreme hat so if we place this guy off to the side we have the foot locker House of Hoops bag. Take that out, and y'all already know what it is, bruh. White box, take this out. Bam, size 12, Nike Air Vapor Max Fly Knit, the navy blue pair from the Data Night Pack. I didn't get the Be True pair, just because I already had these. Bruh, this pair right here, all navy blue with the black bubbles. And actually, have them in hand, I thought it wasn't all blacked out bubble, it was more of like a smoky bubble. But you guys know that they will be dropping the all black Vapor Maxes again. I think that's on the 22nd or the 23rd, maybe the 24th of this month. So if you didn't know, the triple black Vapor Maxes are dropping again. It's gonna be another restock. But anyways, guys, that is gonna be it for this video. Yo, Oscar, shouts out to your Appreciate the shoes, appreciate the hookup, and of course, I appreciate the hat. So that is it, guys. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course, supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cd, by the way. Here, there, blase blood, of course. A bull, bull one TRC, aka fuck a boy. I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all be easy. I am out. Peace. <laughs>